Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to solve problems involving measures of position for ungrouped data. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, compute for the specified measures of position. Letter B, solve problems involving measures of position. And letter C, use percentile rank in relating individual scores to their positions in the entire group. Let's have this example. The height in centimeter of 12 students was measured as follows. Let's try to answer the following questions. Letter A, 70% of the students are shorter than what weight? Letter B, what height is at the 6th decile rank? Letter C, what height is at the lower quartile? Letter D, Determine the percentile rank of the student which has a height of 156 cm. Let's answer first the first question. 70% of students are shorter than what height? The first step we need to do is to arrange the numbers or the height of the students in ascending order. So we have 138, 140, 141, 145, 145, 147. 152, 153, 154, 156, 160, and 165. So arrange this from the lowest score up to the highest score. After that, step 2 is to locate the position of the score in the distribution by using the formula P sub K is equal to K over 100 times the quantity N plus 1. Since this is 70% of the students, we are dealing with percentile. We will be substituting the corresponding value. So we have K is equal to 70. So we have P70 is equal to the value of K. Again, is equal to 70 all over 100 times the quantity. The value of N will be equal to 12. The 12 students or the 12 heights of the student plus 1. And then we will simplify. So we have 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. And then 70 times 13 divided by 100 is equal to 9.1. So first until 70 is at the 9.1 position, meaning to say it is located somewhere in between the 9th and the 10th number. The next step we need to do is to identify the 9th and the 10th number. Because as I have said earlier, percentile 70 is in between the ninth and the tenth numbers. So this is the first number, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth number is 154, and the tenth number is 156. And then after we have identified the ninth and the tenth number, we will be subtracting these two numbers. So we have 156, the tenth number, minus the ninth number, which is 154, and then subtracting these two numbers, 156 minus 154 is equal to 2. And then for step 4, we will be multiplying the decimal part of the result in step 2 times the result in step 3. So we have the decimal part of the result in step 2 is 0 0.1 times the result in step 3 is equal to 2. So we have 0 0.1 times 2 is equal to 0 0.2. And then for the last step, we will be adding the result in step 4 by the ninth number. So the ninth number is equal to 154. So we have 0 0.2 plus 154 is equal to 154.2. Therefore, Percentile 70 is equal to 154.2. So if we will interpret this, 70% of the students are shorter than 
the height of 154.2. Let's solve our next example. What height is at the sixth decile? So the first step again is we need to arrange this in ascending order from the lowest score up to the highest score. After that, for step two, we will locate the position of the score in the distribution by using the formula decile k is equal to k over 10 times the quantity n plus 1. And then we will be substituting the corresponding value. So we have decile 6. So the value of k will be equal to 6 equals k is 6 again all over 10 times the quantity the value of n will be equal to 12 because there are 12 students plus 1. And then we will be simplifying this. We will add 12 plus 1 that is equal to 13 and then 6 times 13 divided by 10 is equal to 7.8. So decile 6 is at 7.8 position, meaning to say decile 6 is somewhere in between the 7th and the 8th number of this course. So for step 3, we will be identifying that 7th and 8th number. So this will be the first number, the second number, the third number, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh number is 152. And the 8 number is 153. And we will be subtracting these two numbers. We will subtract 153, the 8 number, minus the 7th number, which is equal to 152. So 153 minus 152 is equal to 1. And then for step 4, we will multiply the decimal part of the result in step 2, which is equal to 0.8 times the result in step 3 which is 1 so we have 0 0.8 times 1 is equal to 0 0.8 and then for the last step we will be adding the result in step 4 by the 7th number so decimal 6 is at 7.8 position so we will get the whole number here which is 7 and we will locate the 7th number so the 7th number is equal to 152 so we will be adding 152, the seventh number, by the result in step 4, which is equal to 0 0.8. So we have 152 plus 0 0.8 is equal to 152.8. Therefore, decile 6 is equal to 152.8. If we will interpret this, 60% of the height of the 12 students is less than or equal to 152.8. Let's solve our next example. What height is at the lower quartile? So we are looking for the value of quartile 1. Quartile 1 is the lower quartile. The first step again is we need to arrange the scores from the lowest up to the highest number. After that, we will locate the position of the score in the distribution by using the formula Q sub K is equal to K over 4 times the quantity n plus 1. We will be substituting the corresponding value. The value of k is equal to 1. The lower quartile is quartile 1. So this will be 1 all over 4 times the quantity. The value of n is the number of students. So the number of students is equal to 12. Then plus 1. We have 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. 13 times 1 is 13. Then divide it by 4. So, quartile 1 is at 3.25 position, meaning to say, quartile 1 is somewhere in between the third and the fourth number. And for step 3, we will be identifying that third and the fourth number. First number, second number, third number is 141, and the fourth number is 145. So, after we have identified the third and the fourth number, we will be subtracting these two numbers. We have the fourth number, 145, subtract it by the third number, which is equal to 141. So this will be equal to 4. And then for step 4, we will be getting the decimal part of the result in step 2, which is equal to 0.25. And then we will be multiplying it with the result in step 3. So we have 0.25 times 4 
this will be equal to 1. And then for the last step, we will be adding the result in step 4 by the third number. So the third number is equal to 141. So 141 plus 1 is equal to 142. Therefore, quartile 1 is equal to 142. If we will interpret this, 25% of the height of the 12 students is less than or equal to 142. Let's answer the last question, which is determine the percentile rank of the student which has a height of 156 centimeter. So to get the percentile rank of the student, the first step is we need to arrange this in ascending order from the lowest score up to the highest score. After that, we will be identifying the value of n. So n will be equal to 12 because there are 12 students. Then we will identify the number of values below x. So x will be equal to 156 centimeter. So how many of the height is less than 156 centimeter? So number of values below x. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this 9 heights are less than 156 centimeter. So the number of values below x is equal to 9. And then we will be using the formula in finding the percentile rank for the ungrouped theta. So we have percentile of x is equal to the number of values below x all over n times 100%. So we have percentile of x is equal to the number of values below x that is equal to 9. All over the value of n is equal to 12 times 100%. So we have 9 times 100 is equal to 900 over 12. 900 divided by 12 is equal to 75%. So if we will interpret this, 75% of the students has a height of less than or equal to 156. Or 25% of the students has a height of greater than or equal to 156.